this handsome little fella here is Harley. Uh, he came from a neglect situation. He was uh, found. He was pulled out of a house where he was sitting in a filthy cage that had about two inches of urine and feces in the bottom. This is Snoopy, and he's a I'd say young adult male. This was my rescue from a foreclosed home. He is a Californian. He's a large rabbit and pretty pretty laid back. Um, my husband and I just fell in love with him. We thought he had some real good manners, but he's acting otherwise. I think he's just so super intelligent, and he just wants us to know that it's his room and it's his house. This is a princess. We rescued her from the Halifax Humane Society. Um, she was brought in with another rabbit. Um, we shortly found out that uh, she was pregnant because she had babies at the Halifax Humane Society. Uh, within 48 hours, we had her out and given her and her babies a good home. People think that rabbits are, you know, really, you know, little baby rabbits are cute and cuddly, so they'll get their child a rabbit for Easter. And usually it's a baby rabbit uh, that's about eight weeks old or sometimes younger. The pet stores will sell rabbits that are too young just because, you know, they're so small and cute. Uh, and then when the rabbit gets to be about two months old, they decide that they don't want the rabbit anymore. So they'll either turn it loose outside, which is a death sentence for a rabbit, or else they'll turn it into the Humane Society. Uh, we'd rather see it turn into the Humane Society because then it has a you know chance that it's going to find a home and live. But the Humane Society can only take so many rabbits. In fact, right at this moment, they're overloaded with rabbits. We just cannot stress enough the fact that, you know, do not buy a rabbit. We have over 100 rabbits in foster care. Um, there are rabbits available at the Humane Society as well as through us locally in Daytona. Um, and if there's nothing we have here, just go on the web and check Pet Finder with Gainesville Rabbit Rescue. And uh, there's plenty of rabbits. Um, it's overwhelming sometimes. I mean, every time the phone rings, I think, uh-oh, and somebody has a rabbit. I just got a call this week, and, you know, she's temporarily fostering because we just don't have the room. Um, actually, he's to blame for the first bunch. <laughs> I had, um, we had got, we, we love animals, and um, we had gone to this particular pet store to pick up some supplies, and he had mentioned, I wonder if they have bunnies here. And then I heard a conversation with someone trying to find homes for their bunnies. And in the midst of all that, we met the family with the bunnies. And um, we're both, we were weak. And so that wasn't the problem. So we had our four. And then um, when Liz approached me about the mama and the babies, I just I said, look, there's a mama at the Humane Society with her seven babies. And if we don't help, they're going to be euthanized. So how could you say no to that? And he was very agreeable and he's in fact the one taking care of them so <laughs> I got him into it but he's he, he loves them too so he was very agreeable. I think it's a lot more difficult than a dog or a cat. Um, the vet bills are of course are exotic vet bills so you need to look at that. Rabbits have a very delicate digestive system so you really have to look at proper nutrition. You need to look at rabbit proof in your house. Um, definitely have to number one look at spay and neuter. Um, have to have the proper setup large exercise pen litter box. And if someone is just not sure, the best thing to do is we'll be happy to set them up to foster and see if you make a match with a rabbit. They really need a quiet home. I don't think a home with a lot of barking dogs and loud children screaming. Um, but they do need a lot of love. They do need a lot of attention. They're very social creatures. Um, they, need, they, they need, just like a dog or a cat, you would not keep your dog or cat in a cage on a back porch. And people think, that's what I'm going to do with a rabbit. Um, and there's a lot of great websites. Rabbit.org is a great place to research to get all the, the information you need.